Before they run down the hill at Clemson, they touch Howard's Rock only if they're ready to go, because if they're not, as Frank Howard himself said, keep your stinking hands off my rock. Death Valley in Clemson, South Carolina, home to the Tigers. Today, a couple of teams getting set to square off in an ACC battle. As we'll see, the Virginia Cavaliers taking on the winners of five straight, the Clemson Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. The Cavaliers will boot it away to start the game. And here's the return. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. So the Clemson Tigers offense takes the field to start this game off. And here he comes. This offense is built completely around the talents of this running back, a rare commodity in today's game, and all eyes are on it. And the defense knows it, too. You know every single snap this defense is going to be keying on this running back, knowing that he is the key to the offense's success. Running back searching for a hole. Continuing to churn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Leaves it with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. To the air. It's Klubnik. Fires to the wideout. Oh, did he find a hole in the defense? They've got the defense reeling right now with that big play to the 29. Clemson set up with another first down. He wants to throw. Looking to the big tight end. Makes a connection. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Tigers. What a quick start for this offense, putting up points on the first drive. And that's got to feel good, Reese. You've been practicing all week. You've been practicing against the looks you were anticipating to see from this defense. You get those looks. You're able to come out. You run the ball. You throw the ball. And this offense right now is in a groove early. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT makes it 7-0. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished it off with the score from the four. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Cavaliers' offense will try to get something started with their first possession. As dynamic as this guy is on the outside, Jesse, you know he's going to be cheating that way from his free safety position. You're right, because as a quarterback, I just can't throw to my guy in the perimeter, right? I got to attack the middle of the field. The problem is you've got one of the best safeties in the nation who likes to lay people out. Yeah, roaming the middle of the field, reading the quarterback's eyes, and he's got an eye on that receiver out there, too, that's dynamic. So let's see what kind of day he can have. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Muscling ahead on third and short. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The Cavaliers will punt it away on fourth down. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. He gets the first one off, and he was busier than he hoped in that loss last week, being called on five times. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Single back formation, and they give it to him. Make the stop at the 40, but he's got 15 yards on that one and a first down. Right back to the well. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He'll do it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
A third and long coming up here. Looking for a man. It's Klubnik. Unloads to the wideout. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. He came into this year with big expectations. Everybody expecting him to stat it up. And now with that last completion, he's already over 2,000 yards passing for the season. Here comes Clemson with another first down. From the gun, running back gets to give. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Got the quick pass. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. They try to pop a run on the draw. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. It is good! And now the lead is even bigger. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. On first down, here comes this offense. Used the play fake, now to throw. He's got the tight end. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. We've come to the end of the quarter, and Clemson has the lead. They wanted to strike first and strike hard, and they've been able to do that here in the first quarter as we take a look at the stats. In this game, as we open the second period, and they try to find a way to answer. He leaves it with his back. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. They'll run it from the gun. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. Ball spotted right at midfield as they try to convert third and short. Quick strike complete. And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. And the Cavaliers decide to put it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And he will boom that punt out of bounds. No chance for a return. Let's see where the officials spot it. Back to throw. It's Klubnik. Snags it over the middle. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Now on second down after the short completion. From the gun. Give on the inside. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. Here on third down for this offense. Here's a snap. Ready to cut one loose. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Mafa. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Off the play fake on first down. The throw. And they're on him in a heartbeat, and down he goes. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Second down now after the sack. He's looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's grinding stool. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. The D thinking brings some heat on third and long from the 44. 
gets it out fast. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Clemson will send the punt team out. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And that punt will sail out of bounds. Let's see where the official spot. Virginia has it back. The Cavalier offense headed to the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, Dave. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25, giving one. The Cavaliers will hustle for the line. Looking to pass, it's Calandria. Throws to the wideout. On target over the middle. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And gets a good release, gets down the field. You see his, that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and ten. They'll give it to him again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Fields. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. Here comes his home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll try to bully their way for the first. He gets it oh so close to that imaginary yellow line, but I think he's going to be just a tad short. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. They'll run for it on fourth down. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Couldn't order better field position for this offense. There was no reason to hesitate on the sideline there. Just keep the offense out and go for it. Dude, fourth and inches. If I can't get inches, I deserve to lose football games. So I'm going for a fourth and inches every single time. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Back to pass. It's Calandria. Got his man quickly. Just discarding tacklers, punching and grinding his way to the 23. Headed to the line at the 23, trying to convert this third and short. Makes the grab over the middle. Put it right on him. Sweet play, good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. They're going to throw it again. Let's it go to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Virginia. And it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing into the end zone because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now in game. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, the lead is cut to three. It's 10 to seven. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Illinois is ahead right now, but the school that produced the likes of Dick Butkus and Red Grange has some work to do before this is over. They're up by seven over Michigan. Your boy KC has you covered here in studio, guys, in case anything changes in this one. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. I know that one hit the ground, but you haven't seen that a lot. He completed over 70% of his throws in their last game. He's over 80% in this game. My old offensive coordinator, Sean Payton, used to say, bore me with completions. This guy will put you to sleep. 
and they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. The Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. Looking to throw, it's Klubnik. Fires to the wideout. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Here they come to try it again on second and ten from the 29. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Fire into the right, complete. And I love working the slot receivers. You see so much of that. It's about matchups, right? I can put a fast guy in that slot, maybe get him matched up on a linebacker or a safety. I like working those guys in those matchups. Favorable for the offense, for sure. Out of the shotgun on third down. Complete downfield. And they get him down at the 43, but this is the kind of explosive play you want to build on. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. He's looking to throw it. Just gets rid of the football. Nobody to throw it to. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Dialing up a second down pass play. Nothing to do with the football, and he just throws it away. It'll be third down. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. So Clemson is lining up to punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And he tried to pin him deep with that punt. Instead, it goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. It's first down, but the offense is just going to take a knee and go to the locker room. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, Yeoman's work so far in Death Valley, and welcome in to the halftime report. And I get it, what's between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. And those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. Nudges ahead for one out to the 16. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll leave it with him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. He tries to take the top off. And it's knocked away downfield. The DB getting a hand in there. And the Cavaliers send out the punt unit. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. And for this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a two. He's got it inside the 15. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. And a big reason why this team has the lead in this game is because of plays like that. They know they've got firepower throwing the ball. They've got the dudes outside that can make things happen. You saw it in the first half, and you see it here again early in the third quarter. Card in the backfield. It's Maffa. And a quick completion, an even quicker loss. The defense was right there to knock him down. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Field goal is good.
After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Virginia sending its offense back onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Handoff from the gun. He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. The Cavaliers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Gets it out quickly. And they bring him down quickly, but a good game there. Here comes the offense on second down. To the ground with the back. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. And the Cavaliers have their offense in high gear. He'll pull it on the read. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. He'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. Dropping back, it's Calandria. Unleashes it. Got a man in the middle. And he breaks into the open. And the tackle is made, but not before that completion gets them 30-plus. The Cavaliers headed quickly to the line. Running to the left. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll try the run. Pushes ahead for a pickup of one down to the 13. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Got it. And he'll run out of bounds just short of the goal line. Wanted to get it in but couldn't quite get home. We've come to the end of the quarter, and Clemson has the lead. Let's take a quick look at this. Starting off this quarter, close enough to smell the goal line. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Cavaliers! The best running backs are the guys that can just sniff out the end zone. That running back showed you all of his freakish ability on that play. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point gives him a one-point lead here in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Clemson ready to dial up some ball plays. They've got it on offense. Looking to throw, it's Klubnik. He uncorks a bullet to the right. Well, the QB looked like he knew where he wanted to go with that football, but give the defense credit, they were able to swap that one away. And back to the air on second down. They'll run the screen. Using the pads, using the stiff arm, using all kind of strength to get it across the 25 to the 26. Wants to throw on third down. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. Clemson will send the punt team out. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. They'll christen this drive from the 28-yard line. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. He maybe gets a yard. They'll mark him at the 29. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine.
One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. Quick completion on the out. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. They'll throw it on first down. Caught behind the line. It's Fields. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. It's now second down after the short completion. He's looking to throw. And he just threw that one away. Safe move. Didn't see anything. Lived to play another play. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. They're trying to get to it. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. And the Cavaliers will call on their punt team. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He'll bring it back. It's Brown. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. Clemson has their paws on it, and they'll send out the offense. They'll give it to the back. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll run play action. Pulls it in. It's Haynes. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Trying to move the sticks on third down. They'll try to power their way ahead. They thought they could just run it on third and short, but this defense was there to make the stop. So Clemson is lining up to punt this one away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. First play of this drive comes from the 27. Out of the gun, the inside kick. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. The big pickup on first down leaves him with second and one. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. The Cavaliers get enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give to the back. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Clock continues to run, and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it. Give to the running back. Tackle is made at the 48. It's a pickup of five and enough for the first down. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. Movement here from the tight end. To the ground. He's got it again. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. The give to the tailback. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. I'd expect we're going to get another dose of the running game at this point, even though it's second and 11. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Quarterback on the keeper. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. Game could be decided right here. Crowd behind this defense on fourth down. They'll try it on the ground. He's not going to get there, and they'll have to give up the football. The offense lining up for a first down play. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. A strike downfield. Afterburner's coming. Touchdown, Clemson. And in the final moments, they've taken the lead. And they're able to score on a drive where they had to have it this late in the game, and they look to their playmaker on the outside to win that one-on-one -on -one matchup. Big-time moments. Who do you trust as a quarterback? You could tell this was a big moment. He threw it to his big play wide receiver. He knew he would come down to it. And now the big play in the fourth quarter for the touchdown. 
Now that they have the lead, this kickoff unit has to stay in their lane, create some field position, and hand it over to the defense. And the returner will be dragged down. Virginia has it back. The Cavalier offense headed to the field. What a turn that last drive was. Didn't pick up the fourth down, and it led to the scoring drive, David. Can anyone catch him? And they finally get him down, but not before. He's got him set up for business at the 49-yard line. Going up top on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Into double coverage, and he picked it off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. It's such a fine line offensively. Late in the game, you've got to score. You've got to make big plays. But you can't turn the football over. Big-time mistake. This one might cost him. So with the late lead, they're ready to just drain the clock in victory formation. Defense still with a couple of timeouts. They can force the issue, make the offense snap it again as they take a knee on this one. You want to talk about building confidence, coming through with clutch plays, making the winning plays at the right time can really set the course for the rest of the season. Yeah, Reese, maturity and experience matters. And this team has guys that have played a lot of snaps, they've seen a lot of looks, and they've lost close games like this in the past. That wasn't the case today, David. Too many guys out there making big-time plays. And I think belief is what you build. That confidence, you know you're going to win. You don't think you're going to win. You know you're going to make that play in the big moment that continues to build on week-to-week -week success. And you look up and you're like, dang, we strung a couple wins together. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollack, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.